serious situation because the issues of Islamic extremists is, is, is a concern. It's not only for Ghana, but for all the, 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 the country. It has happened in the Mali. You see how Mali went. It has happened in part of Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Togo, and Burkina Faso is facing this squarely. So I'm not sure Ghana is different. All that we are going to show the difference is to protect our territory. That in terms of providing security, we are very conscious about it. We are very apt to it. If you look at the police, you look at the military, right away from Tilly, the forest from Tilly, up to Winaba, the hills there, getting to Kubongo, Tese, and those kind of things, the military has taken cover. And that is what me I'm really impressed about, because that is the thing that we need to do as DISEC to make sure that we protect the people of the district, we protect the people of Ghana. For now, people are coming in, we are showing sympathies. But our main responsibility is to protect Ghanaians, not those who are coming in. We are only getting showing sympathy because they have problems there and they are our neighbors. But our main concern is our, our own people. You might think that those who are coming in are really people who need help, but they might just be the very people that we are afraid of. So how do we know? Because the jihadists don't have anything on their face to, under, to, to show that we are here. They are just human beings like us. When they put off their arms, they are against normal people. So it's difficult to know who actually needs help and who is a jihadi. So our main task is to ensure that we screen these people properly before we, we, we accept them into the, into the country.